Yeah, Sunday, day four, Supercon. You guys ready to have some fun today? How many people have been here all four days? All four days? Who's been here just today? Just today? Yeah? Three days? Two days? I think that covers everyone. All right, cool, cool, cool. We got a really fun panel right now in this room. It's the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger panel. Where's all my Power Ranger fans out there? Awesome. All right, I'm going to bring them out right now. DJ, I know you got a special track lined up. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise right now for Nakia Boris and Michael Copan. Go, go, Power Rangers! <laughs> wow, a singer too, wow. Thank you guys for coming out this morning, this early. First thing in the morning. It's the you early guys birds. Are a blessing. Thank you so much. We're the worm. <laughs> thank you guys for being here. No, thank you, Elgin. Thank, have you guys been enjoying your weekend so far? Yeah, it's been yep. really nice. Yeah, I really enjoy it. I like, I like Florida. I used to live in Orlando for two years. And um, I used to come down to Fort Lauderdale and Miami a lot. So um, still never, I'm still like, I didn't come as much. So I'm still learning the area and stuff, but I just love Florida. Yeah. Have you guys have any opportunity to go out in the city while you've been here this weekend or just pretty much sticking to the convention? I had plans to do that. <laughs> that I, I was telling Mike, I was like, and, and his fiance, I was like, I always have plans. I'm like, I got big plans when I come. And then after the convention, I'm like, I don't have plans anymore. I'm just going to go to bed. Yeah, we got out a little early, and uh, I just, yeah, went with my fiance. We just laid on the beach, and we're just like looking out and just relaxed. So that was good. beautiful, man. That's yeah, we good. have some amazing beaches here in Florida, man. Amazing. Amazing. But I mean, you guys are out in LA. I mean, you probably have some pretty cool beaches over there, too. Yeah, um, not as nice as Florida. <laughs> really? I, I, I'll tell you. I, I'll tell you my horror story one time. Yes, this is I why. These. This is why I don't go in the water anymore. I was in Malibu one time, and okay, so I'm just like, out uh, there's certain places that are private beaches, and I was just like chilling and looking at the water, and I'm just like looking for a while, and the beach waves are coming up, and I I just didn't look down yet, but I finally looked down, not to gross you guys out, but there was like. <sighs> hundreds and hundreds of maggots yeah. all over my feet and like I was like ah. what ah. oh my gosh and I didn't know if like I don't want to say this but like maybe a body was like in the waters or I don't know like how could there be maggots there but I just was like I told my mom I was just so disgusted I like I almost I don't think I've ever been in the water in California after that moment I would be totally grossed out just because of like I you know, Hawaii, Bahamas, we were just in the Bahamas. Oh, I'm just like living in the water. It's clear. Oh, yeah. I can see through it's it. It's so beautiful, yeah. You know, but after that, that just kind of really disturbed me. I've never been, I'm from Virginia Beach, and I've never had that. I mean, I've had some jellyfish problems in Virginia Beach. You get that in the, uh, the Atlantic side a lot. Uh, a place called Chicks Beach, man. I remember I was swimming out there one time. I got out, and I was like 11, and I was just like, I get up from the water, and there's like, 20 jellyfish around me and I got stung and then I was like crying and and then my auntie was like telling my cousin Mike I thought Christopher pee on him pee and then uh, my cousin peeing on me and I'm like oh stop stop and he's just like okay and it was like a weird experience that sounds so. like a friend Steve, Steve Craig 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 Craig. Craig. Yeah, I, for, I forgot there was a panel this morning this early I'm like oh snap sorry hi everybody so What's needless cracking? to say, I've had some bad oh, beach sorry. experiences, and and so, but this one was beautiful. But there so. are beautiful beaches in in Los Angeles. Yeah, there are. That, that yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been to Venice Beach before. It's really, it's pretty cool. It's nice, and you, the Muscle Beach and all that yeah. cool stuff going on. It's really fun. Yeah. Steve. Yes, sir. Welcome to the panel, Thank man. You. Good yeah. to see you. Fashionably late, as always. That's how I roll. That's, That's cool. cool. Usually, I'm I'm actually very punctual. You know my. Uh, oh sure, Steve. No, oh, sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I am. Yeah, I mean, you know, you guys we have no you. frame of reference, but I promise, I'm now he very is punctual. <laughs> well, uh, the question was, uh, did you get a chance to go anywhere in the city while you've been here in Florida, or have you been just uh, here at the yeah, con? Yeah, I went to the Hilton uh, across the street. <laughs> um, no, we didn't really get a chance to check out much because when we're kind of here at the convention, we're sort of stuck working. So. Uh, 
Um, we didn't get a chance to explore a little bit. I think probably the traffic was really bad. It's for crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's really Coming bad. back from the beach area that normally took four minutes to get down there over the bridge, and uh, it took like 45 minutes to get back. Like yeah. Like 40, 45 minutes. Well, usually, if, I mean, Ain't Florida Superhound sh- shuts down the city, and when people like you were here, I mean, it's going to be crazy. So uh, it is really, really fun, though. And we have a mic there for all the fans. If you guys have yeah. any questions... Why? By all means, step up to the mic. Ask whatever you want. Step, step up to the uh, mic. Yes, like, do you remember Don't in episode 83 when you, you guys transferred power from Jason, Trini, and Zach um, yeah. to, uh, to Rocky, um, Adam, and Aisha? Um, what was that like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <Now> we are <laughs> you know, questions like that. Go ahead. <laughs> What's Hello, up? my love. Hello. It's so nice to see you guys again. Thank you. Yes, your okay, biggest. Now I see you. It's nice to see you too. <laughs> I know. That light right. me right in my head. <laughs> Train's see. coming. Can't see anything. Go ahead. <laughs> As your biggest fan from Miami, Timothy Dacus. <laughs> it's true. I grew up watching the whole history of the Power Rangers since the '90s. After I was three years old, and growing up watching the reruns over and over. Now on DVD, old enough to understand how you guys did. That's why I always ask more questions about how you guys did other scenes. Right. Because for you, Steve, my other question is that during, right during the Zeo scene, when you were the Blue Ranger, mm-hmm. I wanted to know, when, when you did that episode, it came from Angel Girl, when you guys were in that black and white movie scene that Adam had a dream about. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. Like you said, you were a werewolf. I wanted to know how did it look like you got your hands into like the werewolf claws and how your head turned on into the wolf because it didn't look like you were putting a mask or anything on yeah. when, when he told you snap out of it. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I just remember they, they, they put all kinds of like makeup effects on, on me. So that was the first time they we'd, I'd ever done anything like that um, where you put like, you know, you know, hair like all my and claws on me and like, um, you know, hair, fur on my face and stuff and the teeth and everything like that. So, uh, that was uh, the first time I'd ever done any kind of like makeup effects like that, and that was pretty fun. That's why I, I really enjoyed that episode because yeah, Steve's a method actor, so he went sleeping yeah. with the wolves the night before. Yes, yeah, right. And uh, just so really ate. He was he was like so cute. He was like eating out of the dog <laughs> bowl. <He's> like, <laughs> Living, yeah. living in a forest, and you told Adam that there were that there's a werewolves going to chase you guys at right. nighttime, and, and it, it was me. Yeah. Yeah. Steve, let's hear that. Let's hear that. Woo! Oh, come on, no, no. Yeah, come on. You did so good yesterday. I remember how to do it. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. That wasn't even me, actually. That did that. That was a body double. That was just, that was the double who did that. I was like makeup. I'm not getting into makeup. Get, get the stunt guys to do that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> and for Anakia, about what happened to you <laughs> and Zio, <laughs> right when when you discovered after when you first started, but right when you first started at the end of Alien Rangers Hog Day Afternoon, replacing Karen, who played Aisha, mm-hmm. and suddenly when you were new, how did it actually felt when when you first started your journey on the show and suddenly they... How did they blew up the command center when Alpha teleported you guys out? My first day on set, I was extremely nervous. Uh, uh, actually, my first week on set, I was extremely nervous. I was you didn't seem into, like it. Well, I, what am I going to be like? Yes. Hey, you, you how prefer, are you? You're a professional. Dude. He's a professional. Yeah, Steve That's was fine. there when you guys did All the right. command center blow up scene too. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I, you have to go in there with some confidence and pretend like you're not nervous. But I was really nervous. And, you know, just meeting everybody. The only person I had met was Catherine in my screen test and then trying to meet everybody, but we were filming on location. Those were some of my, my first um, episodes. So I was nervous and I remember JDF was testing me. Mm-hmm. He was trying to do some little pranks and stuff like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I had just met him. So um, I was nervous, but it was, it was fun. And what you guys don't see on the other side of the camera are like 50,000 people watching you. And I remember being on set and some of the producers and stuff were there as well. So in addition to the cameraman and the lighting and the sound, some of the producers. Bosses were there and, too. Yeah, the, the bosses are watching you. So I wanted to make a good impression. Um, so that just added to the, to the nervousness. But it was, it was great. It was really great. And, you know, spending time talking to you the other day, I just have to say something about this young man. Yeah. His mind is 
amazing. Like he knows exact dates of not just Power Rangers, other, ep- he's like a Wikipedia. Yeah, he's the beautiful mind of yes, Power Rangers. Yes, yes. <laughs> but yeah. even beyond Power Rangers. Russell Crowe. Like, you just, you're yeah, just extraordinary. I'm, ho- I'm hoping that the director, Ham Samban, I can be, when he hears the whole history from me, he might add me to be a, like a new ranger in one of the new seasons for the future. Yeah. God yeah. willing. God willing. They'll call you Data. <laughs> yeah, data. data. Yeah, Data, Data, Tomato, awesome. Tomato. Especially awesome. being a red, not a new red ranger, but not as the red ranger, as a mentor power ranger telling them what to do, just like Jason Frank did in Dino Thunder when he returned as the black ranger as oh, their mentor. Right. Yeah. 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 He was yeah. the black, new black ranger and their mentor. And you would definitely so, have all the information. Let me ask you a question. Tell me about Time Force. Yeah, Time oh, Force. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, test your knowledge of Time Force. I remember Go the ahead. first show, it's time, said Rancic. And the narrator said, oh this feature's God, most ruthless villains are taking a few years on. Guess how many? And the captain said, this is an emergency. Now, a new force strong enough to take back the present. Time wow. fires online. Go. We'll have to become the 1,000 years beyond the time. Come on, let's go. To make a little history out of the future. Time, time, time for Power Rangers Time Force. And then they said, the narrator said, don't miss the brand new season premiere of the all new Power Rangers Time Force. Can we get a hand? That is amazing. Gosh. Amazing. Starts Saturday morning, February 3rd at 7 this year in 2001, only on Fox Kids. Oh, God, he knows everything. (laughs) If you smell what Data is cooking. (laughs) Wow. Does anybody else have questions? Please ask. Uh, yeah, there you go. That, that lady's got a question. Well, you have that a question, one's got a question for Michael? Too. Okay. When you guys did the seeing Force from the Future in the first episode, wearing your white Time Force uniforms, how did it feel to look like there were more skinny buildings and, and how did they got the flying vehicles in the background? Oh, you're talking about... Oh, in, that was all in the Japanese the Yeah, in the year 3000, it said. Well, the, the green screen I was looking at was really green. And, uh, and then later, when we watched the show, they superimposed the spaceships and stuff in there later, which was pretty cool to see what they would do after the fact. Because when you're an actor sometimes and you're working with green screen, you're just acting to nothing that's there and you have to imagine like what is going to be there. And hopefully they have the budget hires a really good CGI <coughs> company yeah. that puts some cool stuff there. Hopefully. Yes. Hopefully. <laughs> cool. Thank Thanks, you. man. Thank, Thank you, buddy. Thank All you right. so Thank much, you. sweetie. All right. Who's the next person? Oh, there. Hi. Um, hi. I just wanted to ask about, as far as your martial arts training, Like, did you have training before you went for the role as a Power Ranger, or did you think that mostly your stunt double would be doing all of that? I'm a ninja. <laughs> I jump off tree. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> all of the guys, well, let Steve to they're amazing. Mm-hmm. Absolutely amazing. Kat and I um I was a ballerina. Came in, as, <laughs> came in as dancers. So they just wanted to for for us, they just wanted to make sure that we could pick up routines, like fighting mm-hmm. routines. So we were we were dancers you see when this, we came. You see this? <laughs> and I had to do that during my audition. You see that ballerina? <laughs> So did you get? Did into- you just really do that right now? <laughs> so did you get into martial arts afterwards? Well, uh, right before the Turbo movie, we had to do six weeks of fight training, so stunt fight training. So that was about my extent. Okay, but you didn't go to like an actual martial arts school and get like a black belt or anything. I visited JDF school a I couple paid for times. One. Um, <laughs> eBay. He was a child then, um, <laughs> but no, no, I didn't. Okay. Thank you. I got a black belt right now. See. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, Hi. This question is specifically for Michael. Oh. Um, if I remember correctly, you were in Bring It On in it to win it, right? Yeah. Bring it on. Yeah. yeah. Bring it off. Bring I it off. <laughs> bring it off. Bring it off. And he was also on two. He was also on two, two Tree Hill as well. <laughs> two Tree Mountain. Bring it off in Two Tree Hill. So, and Scorpion Queen. <laughs> I just want to know what that was like. Did you have to do uh, cheerleading training for the movie, or did you have a stump double for that movie? No, actually, there was, this was the first film where the actors did our own cheer stunts the entire film. So um, I, I was I have a little dance background, so I ended up getting the role because I was a dancer. But I didn't cheer my whole time, my whole life. So the whole first month 
uh, down here in Orlando. We shot right here in Orlando. Yeah. Uh, so 16, we had 12 right to 16 Lauderdale. hour days sometimes of just cheerleading trading with some of the top cheerleaders across the nation that were in our movie. And we had to learn the six main routines, I think it was the, the main five minute routine at the end and we had about 20 little snippet routines that we did throughout the movie that we all had to learn. Yeah. So. But yeah, probably, the, probably when I first started, I was so bad. <laughs> but I was a, a cheerleader in high school yeah. for one year. Wow, yeah. really? Uh, so he was, I was a football I, player. The he was a I, I wear, yeah, the, the suit that he wore, I used to have to wear one of those for like, yeah. yeah. Steve was like, let's go, Michael. <laughs> yes, I know, right? Let's go. And I was like, and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was about the only one on the team that didn't talk like that. <laughs> I mean, you know, just saying, you know. I was just uh, I didn't really cheer, but I, I, you know, I, enjoy, I respect the um, sport of cheerleading after I did. Yeah, it's, it's very tough. Yeah, it's not, it's not it's easy. It's no to do, joke. You know, yeah, to do all those routines and stuff. But we did that competitively in high school. We like com competed nationally on our team as well. Too. Especially yeah. lifting bodies. You know, it's one, lifting it's one thing up. to bench press, you know, a weight on a bar. But when you're lifting, you know, a 150 pound to 200 something, I mean, like 180 pound girl, depending on who you're lifting. I mean, it's a 500 wow. pound woman. Um, that's what I did daily. <laughs> um, one thing no, I but when you're lifting even a 100 pound girl and, and she's moving because she's like, you know, like that. <laughs> and you're like, that's not easy. It ain't easy. Right. Did you guys, did you guys have any falls during that? Did anyone get hurt? Oh, when you guys yeah, were filming? We, people. The first time I did, I attempted to do a back handspring on my own, finally, when I thought I was ready. I got scared at the last second and, like, fell on my side of my face because I was like, we, they've been practicing with me because they're like, you got to learn at least one back handspring because my character in the movie in the beginning when I yeah. did the eight back handsprings, yeah. <laughs> that was not me, okay? <laughs> that was not, I had at least one, though. One, then they can cut to the, the stunt double because they're like, you have to learn this, so... They just were working with me, working with me, and I finally got to the point where I was doing it where the guy stands behind you and puts his hand behind you. And spotter, then they, the spotter, spotter. Spotter, and then they finally, like, oh, you can do it on your own. And when I went to go do it, I kind of turned sideways and landed right on my face. So that, it, it was scary. Uh, it was scary. It still made it look amazing, though. Yeah. <laughs> can you still do it? What? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I think I can do a toe touch still, but. <laughs> do it now. Do it now. <laughs> Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it in them skinny jeans like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, skinny. It's going to rip. Toe touch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, toe one touch. more question. Uh, I think you probably get this one a little bit more commonly. Uh, what do you think your characters would be doing now in the present time after, you know, the Power Rangers series is over? What do you think your characters would be doing now? I'm the night manager uh, at Burger World, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, from the, the graveyard shift. Uh, from you know eight to six a.m. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. I actually, you know, I have three people under me. Three people. It's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> Lucas is. Uh... <laughs> Nikia apparently. <laughs> Nikia She's would be the... like she thinks she I'm was... kidding, but Nikia, it's true. Nikia would be the the. The laughter that's in the sitcom TV show, she would just be coming in to do all the voiceovers for laughing, I think, right now. All the, yeah, all the, uh, the, the background laughing. You were like, yeah, sitcom's not funny, and then they go, cue Nakia. <laughs> yeah. Cut. Perfect. We're moving on. And Michael's in pre-production right now for Scorpion King 12. <laughs> yeah. It's coming out. Bring it on thir 34. Coming out on, uh, you know, <laughs> coming out on Voodoo. Uh, Let's next, go, next year. team! <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. Oh dear lord. <laughs> Lucas would be goofy in Disney World. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Suit, you had to be in the suit all day. Oh, you good? Um, yeah, I think I'm good. Okay. I was crack a joke, but I Welcome back. <laughs> funny, thank you. That was a good one, Steve. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting that. Um, I think Tanya would be um, recording music because she did get offered a music deal in her, I don't know what episode. What episode was that? When I got the... the, the song, song, song of... Sung Yellow. Yeah, 
Yes. Um, so I'm just going to take she would... your number down so when we have any questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like the yeah, so Slumdog Millionaire. Be... You get a phone call. I'm like, hey, uh, Data. <laughs> <sighs> what would happen in episode 40? <laughs> yes. So I think I would be singing. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the questions. So yeah, now that now that Power Rangers is over, I mean, what what do you guys do in your normal life? Or Steve or is a night manager at the Burger Room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, well, you were wondering what Rocky would be doing. Oh, I thought you were asking what I do. Sorry, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, honestly, um, I'm I'm pretty much full time touring right now with Comic Con. Like, I go to different cities like every weekend and do cons like this. Um, I'll be in Lima, Peru next week. Wow. Um, then after that, I'll be at, um, I think, uh, Tampa Bay. Con- no, uh, Raleigh Supercon, the other uh, yeah, that's con that's run weeks. by these yeah. guys. Uh, then I think I'm doing uh, Tampa Bay Comic Con. Then we have uh, the big Power Morphicon in August, uh, later on in August. Yeah, um, August and then I don't remember a lot. Of, I'm going to be in a lot of places. I'm going to, like, um, Uruguay. I'm going to Lithuania. I'm going to Vienna, Austria. I'll be in London in October, plus all kinds of other cities around uh, the United States as well um, the rest of this year. So, yep, I tour a lot. I meet all of you. That's my goal is to try to meet everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, So and then when I'm in my off time, I teach jujitsu, martial arts and stuff. Yeah, cool. So that's pretty much what I do. Cool. Michael? Uh, me, uh, <clears throat> actually, I actually just got on the TV, a new TV show called The Bay. It's going into the fourth season. It's just won four Emmys. I play a cop. Finally, I'm old enough to be a police officer. <laughs> so excited. Is it Tampa Bay? <laughs> no. Because I'll be in Tampa Bay like, no, I think like it's, two weeks. I think it's based off like the Bay, like San Francisco, the <laughs> Bay Area. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, a few other people like are on the other show. It's pretty, i just been checking it out, so I'm excited to get back. I'm moving back to L.A., so um, getting back right, into We're going to be neighbors. Yep. We're going to be, uh, he's going to be teaching me more jujitsu. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, just I took a break. I was producing and directing, so I got a couple films on, uh, one on Amazon I, I wrote, directed, and produced called Worth the Price. Dystopia is on there, but it was supposed to be a 10 ep TV show. I got kind of s- some bad things happen. So don't, if you do watch it, uh, it's only the seventh and eighth episode that the, the distribution put together into a movie, so it makes no sense. So don't judge me on that one. <laughs> I'm still trying to get that resold as a TV show. That was a great learning experience, but I'm back to get. I'm ready to get back into acting. So, cool, cool. That's what I'm doing. I do nothing. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Nah, I I'm still acting. Um, I do commercials and um, guest star on different shows. I just did a pilot, but it didn't get picked up, unfortunately, for ABC. I thought after the Roseanne stint, I was like, hey. Let this one replace it, but it didn't happen. That's okay. That was a great experience. Um, right now, I'm also co-producing. I came in as an investor on a, on a project, a graphic novel, that will be coming out at the end of this month for The Order. Some of the uh, Power Ranger actors are a part of it. Um, I'm co-producing that. And then I'm also in the process of writing a movie on my own project. How, graphi- how graphic is that novel? It's graphic novelist. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really, really, really awesome. Really, really awesome. Uh, Nathan Blue is doing all of the artwork. He's an extraordinary talent. That's really, really cool. We look forward to seeing that. Sweet. Um, so uh, we don't have any more questions from the crowd, and we don't have much time left here with you guys, but definitely make sure you go visit them down at their tables. And before we leave, I know we did it the other day, but can we, can we do the morph one more time? Sure. You guys want to see the morph? <laughs> sure. All right, and I'll do gonna... a toe touch too. Results may vary. What do you want to see? <laughs> Some cheerleading. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, see the suit come out. <laughs> Everybody, let's get a round of applause for the Power Rangers, Nakia Baris. Steve Cardenas, and of course, Michael Copan. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of your day here at Florida Supercon. And before we...